Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to enable logging to help troubleshoot and fix Windows Firewall connection issues, where you can enable Windows Defender Firewall log in a Windows server. So I will start by opening the search box and type Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security and open it from the search results. Then, right-click on the Windows Defender Firewall, from the left side, and from the menu click on Properties. Then, from the Domain Profile tab, then click on the Customize button under the Logging section. Here you can find out the path to the log, and you can change the file name or leave it as is. Next, set the maximum log size, it is better to leave it as is, then select the Yes option, in front of Log Drop Packets, and also the yes option, in front of log successful connection, depending on what you want. There are those who want to log only dropped packets, but it is better to log dropped packets, and successful connection, and a dropped packet is a packet that Windows Firewall has blocked. A successful connection refers to incoming connections as well as any connection you have made over the internet, but this does not always mean that the hacker, has successfully connected to your computer. And repeat the same steps, in the private profile tab, and the public profile tab, and then click the OK button. By completing these steps, the Windows Defender Firewall log has been enabled, and this log will be written continuously to your hard disk, with a size of only 4 MB of data. And now we will open the log file path, so that we can view it, and learn how to read the log file. But I will do some connection operations, either via the ping command, or through a connection via the remote desktop, to know how this is recorded in the log file. Now, close the log file, and open it again to make sure that the outgoing, or incoming connections are recorded. You will find that the size of the log has increased, and you will find each line a special drop packet, and you will also find lines for the successful connection packet if any, at the beginning you will find the column, for the date and time, so that you can know when the packet was dropped and you will also find ICMP protocols, some UDP protocols, and the source IP address, and some details about the connection such as the IP that made the connection, and the IP of the server that I am using now. You will also find the port of the remote desktop, and the IP that was connected to through RDP, and you will find the reason for the RDP not connecting. This data and information you read is very important, and therefore I will make a full video explaining each line in the log file, with many incoming and outgoing connections and also successful and drop connections. Thank you for watching. I hope that the video is useful to you. I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.